Hey everyone, Holly here, the Frugal Savvy Crafter. Uh, this channel is for 18 years and older. If you are not 18, please turn off this channel now. That being said, good evening everyone. I wanted to show you my recent haul from Crafter's Companion and from the Dollar Tree. And we'll start out with the Dollar Tree stuff. They got in some new stickers which i think are really cute i love the pot that's why i got it and lots of flowers of course and i finally got some of the rub -ons. these are really pretty they kind of remind me of tim holtz they're kind of in the style of tim, tim holtz and this is the first i've seen everybody else haul them on youtube videos this is the first time i've seen them in our local stores so I was really happy. I got a few of those. Um, I got a few different kinds. That's the same. Uh, they only had one of these with the uh, leaves and plants, sad to say. Um, I got a couple of these stickers, as you can see. They had this rub-ons, which is really pretty. I like the dinner place. I have a, a die I can use with this. Hi, Claire. I have a teacup die that I can use with this, which I think would be really cute. And I like the rub-ons. They are so hard to find. I got a couple of those because they only had two. And I got a few of these that say USA with the eagles and all, which are really pretty. I like the, the, the real nice gold, you know. And then I picked up a couple of alphabets. I got it because it's got these little leaves and flourishes and flowers here. I'll probably never use the letters. They had it in black, and then they had it in gold. I don't know if you can see the gold. Yeah, there we go. Um, I probably won't ever use the letters. I'll probably give those away. And so I, I was happy to finally get the rub-ons because, like I said, this is the first I've seen them in our area because I've been watching ever since I've seen people haul them. And then they had these, the pop-up dot tape. And I thought it was dots, but it's actually not. It's foam tape. And you get three different sizes. You get an eighth, a quarter, and a half in sizes which is really nice and i like using these a lot for like popping up my 3d embellishments I also like to do a lot of the shaker cards so this is like perfect for doing shaker cards so i bought several packs of those since they had them and they had score tape i bought several packs of this I think this only came in one size, uh, 0.3 inches, but I got several of them. Can never have enough score tape, right? Um, let me see what else we got in here. Oh, get the bag up here; it might be easier. Um, that's more foam. They had these uh, score tools. They have kind of a big ball on one end and a little tiny ball on the other. But you know what you can also use these for? Especially the big end. For your uh, decoupage flowers for making them curl a little bit. So I got a couple of those. And they had this... Oh, that's another one. They had Pokey Tools. Piercing and scoring. So it's got the score piece at the bottom and the piercing tool at the top. And it's got a nice little cap on it so you, you know, don't poke holes in yourself, which is really nice. I got a couple of packs of those because you never can never have enough. And I'm always losing shit, so. <laughs> I never have enough score tools because I'll go from room to room working and then lose it. Oh, and they had these which are adorable. They're craft clamps, which are great for when I'm doing journals and gluing 
you know, the, the pages and stuff together, which is nice. So I got a couple of packs of those. Um, let me see what else did I get. I think that's all I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, and a couple of pairs of scissors. They had, uh, I needed regular scissors because my friend, who dumpster dies with me, cuts up paper into little pieces. I mean, that's his little bucket right there. He'll take all of that and cut it up into tiny little pieces. <laughs> it's his way of relaxing. So that's all I got from Dollar Tree. I need a swig of coffee. Here, have a drink. <laughs> mm. So now, for Crafter's Companion. I gotta say, I was a little disappointed because when they were doing the TV thing, they said, if you buy a mystery bag, if you buy more than one, you'll get different things in every mystery bag. Well, guess what? No, I got three of everything. So, except for a couple of things. Um, I did get this one, which I already have, it's a box set. It comes with a die, um, rubber stamps. This one has an embossing folder, and it comes with a CD-ROM with over 800 and some odd elements on it to print out. And uh, it's, a, it, I mean, it's a nice set, but I already have this one. So, and they sent this one. They sent me two of these, so I'm going to probably put them up on Macari and sell them and get rid of them. And then I got three packs of this. Quilling papers. One and a half inch quilling papers. Now, I don't do quilling, so I really have no idea what to do with this. So this will probably go up on Macari too. But I got three packs of these. And this ain't light. It's heavy. It's very heavy. It's 400 pieces. And I can't think of any use for them. Unless I run them through with one of the edging embossing folders and then put it on cards. I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with an idea. I don't know. I got three of those. Okay, and then I got a couple of these little dies, which is, I mean, it's cute. I really like it. It's a little simplistic. Kind of got the outline. So you could, you know, do different cuts and layer it. It's just kind of cute. It's called Beautiful Bloom. And... I can't read that tiny print. Maybe you can. Oh, I can read it better in the screen. <laughs> okay, and then I got Enchanted Christmas. Christmas fairies. I didn't have this one. I have the other fairies by uh, Sarah. But I didn't have these. So I'm kind of happy. I, I like getting that. Um, and I got a couple of these foil stamp dies, which I will not use because I don't have a foil machine. So about all I could do with this, I guess, is emboss. I think. I'm not quite sure what to do with this or how it works. I mean, it's pretty. But I don't have a foiling machine, so I got a few of those. And then I got some more butterflies, you know, like I can never have enough butterflies. But these are kind of pretty. They're kind of lacy looking. And I quite imagine you could probably layer them. But kind of cute. I have prettier butterflies, though, from them. And, of course, there's another one of these. So, that'll go. And, I think that's the same foiling. Yep. Identical. Those will go. And, I got an embossing folder. And, this one's 
got the candles on it. Now, I didn't have this one before. And it's a 3D embossing folder. I do love my embossing folders. I have fun with those. And this is another 3D embossing folder that says Merry Christmas. So I'll probably keep that for Christmas time. And then I got this. It's foil stamp and cut dies. I was hoping it was a regular die that I could cut with because I love the frame. It says stamp and cut, so I don't know. I'm going to have to ask, but I love frames, especially using with my cards. And, of course, another one of the foil fan. So there's three of the same one. No, wait, that's different. Okay, wait, let's see. Those two are the same. This one is actually different. But it's still, it's a foil. Now, if I could cut with that, I would keep one. And then I got another, this one says, Peace on Earth. Another embossing folder. Let's see if I can, which I think is pretty. Better see it there. I love my embossing folders. And this is a big bow. Christmas gift. Which is cute. Okay. And this one is a reef. Let's see if I can. Poinsettia reef. I have a few different poinsettia reef. Now, I think these are the ones I ordered. I think I actually ordered these. These are the Butterfly Garden for the card. Oop, come on, focus. There. Which I thought was really pretty. It looks so nice on a card. I did order that one. And this is a different one. What is this called? Dancing Butterflies. There. Now you can see it. Really pretty. So I did order that one. And I got this one, which I don't... <sighs> Spring in the air. It's a watering can. I really can't imagine a use for it unless I uh, stamp it and cut it out and then have some flowers coming out of the top and put it on a card. That's all I can think of for that one. Um, I got this die. Life is a beautiful dream. Um, no, I don't need it. <laughs> Probably a phrase I'll never use. This one is rub-on transfers. So I was kind of happy to get this one. Um, I love rub-ons. I like the flourishes. I love butterflies too. I've got about, I think, 10 different butterfly dies. Now, I like this one, Vintage Lace. I like the plant, which is really cute. And I love this. This is one I actually ordered, the Cottage Window. Because I love windows. Windows and gates. This one will probably go somewhere um, because I don't see a use for a Wellington boot. I call it a rain boot. Yeah. That'll go. Uh, and then we got this one. This one is a Winter's Tale Scattered Holly. Yeah, I'm going to do cards with my name on it. Nope. <laughs> this one is Magical Spark... Magical, wishing you a magical Christmas. Sparkle all the way and Winter Wishes. The only one I think I'd probably use would be that Winter Wishes and that, but no, nah, not keeping it. Um, then I got this one. I think I got the Christmas Mystery Pack is what I got. This one's kind of cute. I like the wreath, which you could use for in, any time of the year. Just put different things on it, like flowers or whatever, so I'll keep that. 
This is Force Vines Rub Ons. I think. Uh, no, it's a stencil. Okay. And then I got this cute little fairy and the moon. <laughs> this is hanging. Oh, this is a stencil too. Okay, Ivy. And then I did order this. Look at the door. I love this door. It comes with the embossing folder, which is brick. And then you've got this door, and then you get the rubber stamp with the fireplace, which is so cute. But it's, it's like a three-piece, home for Christmas. But I love that door. That's going to look awesome on cards. And, of course, there's another little... Same flower. And here's another set that I ordered. I think. Is that different? Yeah, these are two different ones. This is In Full Bloom. And this one is Pretty Petals. Which are really cute. So, those are good. And another set of butterflies. So those will go. And this is a cupcake. It says, thank you. Eat cake. You get stamps and die. Really cute. I'll probably keep one of those. There's another one of those frames. Another one of those dies. <laughs> Foil dies. This one is another poinsettia reef, so that'll go. This one is another candle one, so that will go. And I like this one. I was glad I got this one. This is the uh, delicate snowdrops, which are really pretty. I like that. That's a beautiful die. And another one. <laughs> and another one of those Christmas gifts. Now, this is a different one. This is Winter Wonderland. It's the Christmas tree with the rubber stamp and the die set, which is nice. Elegant tree. I didn't have that one. This is another candle one. I told you I got three of some things. Another poinsettia reef. This is another Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, in full bloom and pretty pale. Now, they sent me two sets of these. So, those will go. And another cupcake. Now, these I did order. I love these cut and emboss folders. This one is a round frame, which I think is beautiful. That's going to make some beautiful frames. And it actually cuts out the, the frame itself. You get this piece that cuts out. And it is beautiful. I love these. Especially when you do them in foil. And then this uh, this is called the Normandy frame, which is really pretty. That would be good to put like, you know, thank you or hello or just a note. You know, some small sediment in there would be really nice. But I love it that they're cut and embossed in one pass. I love these. These are my favorite embossing folders. And then this beautiful... Rectangle frame, which I love. They came as a set, so I was real happy to get that. And then here's another Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then I got these. This is a uh, birthday. 
could probably use the balloon and the candle out of there is about all. And this one, so sorry. And it's got the double die with it, so you can do the outline, cut it first, and then cut, use both of them to cut out the word. And then you lay it across there, so you've got a nice, like, background, layered background. And then one that says love, which I don't need. <laughs> so that's my little haul. Three boxes worth. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I have six more boxes coming. <laughs> so, I will let you all go for now. And uh, we're going to be doing a Crafters Com Companion collab with Poet Spice, who's organizing it. So, I hope you'll join us when we do our collab. And I'll be using some of the stuff that each week that I got from Crafter's Companion, I think, they think the first one I'm going to use is the do the, is the decoupage. With the decoupage flowers, the roses and carnations and the peonies. So, and remember my little tip. If you're going to decoupage and you've got the papers and the dye together, Take and scan the papers in as actual size in your printer program. <coughs> not in the regular paint program, not in your iPad program, but in re your regular printer program. And make sure you save it as actual size. Then you can print out several more copies and use your dies so they'll fit perfectly. And make sure when you print them out, you go back into your printer program and print them out through your printer program. Otherwise, if you print them out through your iPad or through your regular photo program, it's going to come out larger than what you need. So, just a little tip there. And I hope you'll join us for the collab and that Poet Spice is uh, putting together. If you haven't been to her YouTube, I hope you'll check her out. She does some awesome, awesome work. So... We'll be doing, every Monday, we'll be doing a different project with Crafter's Companion items. So, this ought to be fun. So, y'all take care, and I'll see you Monday. Peace.